Toga from the League of Villains. And you're watching Disney Channel. Hey guys, welcome to OJ Talk, where we talk about or make fun of every single character in this stupid roster of like what 40 plus characters. Um, I hope you enjoy this and make sure you like and subscribe if you like this because I plan on doing more of this. Thank you. So has I, anyone noticed how Toga never watches her needles? Like, seriously, like with how good she is at using them, I'm surprised. Considering, yeah, how well she's using them, she's probably used them against a lot of people, considering, like, you know, her whole thing is, like, with blood and stuff. So, like, does she ever wash them? Like, does she clean them before each mission? Does she just, like, not wash them and, like, do after-affecting damage with, like, whatever diseases are on her needles? Because, like, you don't know what's inside someone's blood. That's why, well, that's why I have a problem with saying, like, well, like, what are you doing? Like, you don't know if, like, Deku has HIVs or something, like... Come on now, we, we we need to get better at this. Like you guys are heroes, you guys are like an advanced society. Yet you don't, but yeah, you don't have common sense of not drinking someone's blood. And you know, I thought that would be kind of obvious by now, not to drink someone's blood. But like you know, it's part of their quirks, and like they have no safety regulations in this world apparently. And speaking on how good Toga is at using those needles. Like how long has she been? How long has she been killing people? Like, she's she doesn't look any older than a high schooler, considering like you know how she looks and stuff. So she should be like sixteen, seventeen, like nowhere near eighteen. She doesn't look eighteen. So like, how long has she been doing this? Has she been doing this since she's like what thirteen years old? Which is kind of weird, considering she should be like in middle school all doing this. I don't know what, I don't know what Toga, like, I have no idea what Toga's backstory is, actually, so, I might actually have to read up on that, but, like, it's kind of weird how her whole quirk is basically just surrounded around, like, taking people's blood and stuff, and then, like, basically transforming into them, considering, like, she has an arm, like, you see how those needles track in this game, and how, like, well she throws those knives, and, like, how, like, she's doing it all Dio style, like, um, Zawardo, <laughs> but, like, it's, that's besides the point, like, what? How is she so good at throwing them? Like, I don't know if she took, like, any football classes. She was, like, in a sports girl before she went all lunatic. But, like, it's kind of weird that she can throw needles and freaking knives so well. She probably watched too much JoJo's. Alright, enough talking about Togolore. Let's talk about her in-game, because that's what we're here about. So, like, anyone notice how, like, she does like a no damage like even if you do like the most impressive combo ever it doesn't seem like she does anything like she's like mr compress but better like way better but like i feel like toga should be doing more damage considering she's literally stabbing needles into you and knives and stuff or at least like some after effect considering like you know you'd be bleeding like really badly but then again i'd have like we'd have to give like endeavor a freaking burning attack on every single move <laughs> i mean even though he has a burning attack on basically all of his quirks and stuff so like that really wouldn't make sense but like you know toga i feel like toga should be doing more damage considering like you know her, her quirk and stuff, but, like, to be fair, All Might's practically mid-tier in this game, and he literally has, like, a super strong quirk, and so, you know, that sucks, so, like, yeah, that's basically, like, what? How does she do, like, but the one trade-off of her not being, like, you know, strong is the fact she's super annoying, like, has anyone noticed, like, she's super annoying, even for, like, a freaking Muriel, like, Till Quirk 1, you know? And that's fun. But, like, have you ever noticed, like, you know, she just throws knives and somehow manages to, like, scrape your leg and, oh, nope, no more assists for you. She's like, hippity hoppity, your assists are now my property, and this just takes your assists like nothing's ever happened. Like, you're not mad that now your Rappa and Jira are gone. And, like, now you have to deal with, like, your own character just beating you to death because we all know you're in the losing because like we all know how it goes like you're always losing the match she's timing you out she's camping you out she throws a needle she goes four assist four assist let me tell you again four assists and then she just uses them all charges towards you there's literally nothing you can do unless you like face through the ground it's because there's only one character that could do that and like you know you just die. Like, there's nothing you could do. Like, there's no pressure. Like, 
that pressure is literally inescapable. Or like, you know, it's kind of stupid considering she could take your assist. Why can't she take your assist? Who gave who gave the go ahead to say, oh yeah, not only can she transform into you, and like you know, take all of your abilities. Like if you're a significantly better character, like I don't know, Grand Torino, you could just transform into that. Um, and not only can she do that, because she can also take your assist. I'm surprised the I'm surprised people the people that made this game weren't like you're fired. No, they were like, oh, that's a perfect, that's a great idea. We should definitely let that happen in this game, you know, because that's totally fair, fun, and balanced for the whole family, you know. So like that kind of never made sense to me how she can literally take your assists, and it sucks, like sucks so bad. Considering if you have like really good assists like Jiro Rappa, and then they have Jiro Rappa, you got four Jiros, you got two Jiros and two Rappas. You have four assists. Think about, think about freaking. Think about this situation. Think about you, you, you. Last round, la last round, you're in the middle of like a UA arena, and Toga manages to snipe you, and you're already at really low health. So now you're basically like a death percent, death percent Smash Bros. <laughs> and um, you're basically at death's door. You, you're one fit in the grave. And then Toga has the bright idea to say, "Hey, I am going to use both of my Arappa assists to charge straight forward at you and just start or ordering your shield." And um, Rappa already does, like, a decent bit of shield damage. But, like, you know, it's nothing compared to two of them charging at you full speed, punching you in the face. But, you know, there's always that chance that Rappa's tracking just decides saying no and just punches the air in front of you. Which is even worse, because, like, you're just, like, the freaking assist can't even hit you. You're that worthless at this game. And it's, like, so stupid. I'm like, oh, my God. Man, I hate what Toga does that. And it's literally like that's literally like a whole thing. Like she throws ne she like throws needles and just like and it's just like, oh my god, I hate this so much. I hate this so much. And you're like, what am I supposed to do? I can't escape this. Like, you always you always magically get hit by those needles, even though they're not heat seeking. They're they're not heat seeking missile they're not heat seeking needles. Not from what I know of, but like they still manage to like curve and fall at you. Like you can't you don't have to have a decent aim, you just have to throw them and they somehow manage to scrape your opponent. And then speaking on the tracking on those needles, who thought it was a good idea to give them those needles such good tracking? Like those things like follow you. Like they like like to follow you in like one direction, and then they're like, oh, Oh, you moved over here? Nah, I'm gonna do a slight, like, tilted curve, and the hitbox is going to slightly scrape your freaking pixel of your pinky toe, and I'm going to hit you, and I'm gonna take both of your assists, and now we're gonna play a waiting game, where, like, if you come towards me, I have, like, four assist breaks, and if you, and if you, and if you, like, don't do anything, I'm gonna come to you with my god-tier pressure, and you can't do anything about it. And it's like, I know her whole thing is, like, zoning and stuff, but, like, why are her needles, like, so good at tracking? Like, think about if they gave, like, I don't know, like, think about if they made freaking the giant, um, projectile on base Deku's track, and then once it, and then once it hits you, you do, like, extra damage for a little amount of time, that'd be so stupid. And it's kind of, like, a weird comparison, but, like, I feel like it's kind of there. Like, I don't like it. Like, who, who gave the go-ahead to make this thing so stupidly strong? so stupidly strong and like i don't even mind that it take it takes you changes your character why did it have to take your assist i don't think freaking rappa and freaking jiro are stupid enough maybe rappa but like not jiro would be stupid enough to say hey that girl literally just transformed into my um ally i should probably follow her instead and i'm like really now I can't do my com now I can't do the combos that I need to win this game. And they're like, oh, Toka can do the exact same combo I do. And it even sucks when you're fighting against a good Toka that knows a good B and B for like every single character. And now you're like, oop, now not only am I going to have like a bad time because they took my assist, but I'm gonna have another bad time because they're going to do 24k. And I'm like, bruh, why can why why can she do this? Sometimes I question. Sometimes I question. This game, this this game is like, this game just reminds me of Xenoverse. Like, I ask sometimes why they do this, and like, I'll never get a response because I can't talk to the company. And it's just like, oh my god. Like, I get every fighting game was like 
has stupid things, but, like, this is really, really stupid. <laughs> Obviously. Um, so, yeah, that, I, I, I just don't like Togo. Like, a lot of people don't like Togo. Like, I went, I went into my Discord, I went to the Discord that I'm in with my Hero Watch Justice, and everyone was like, do Togo or Mineta, I'm probably gonna do Mineta next, because, like, I have some good stuff on Mineta. But, like, you know, that kind, it kind of just sucks, you know, like, I can't do anything. And I'm like, oh my god, I can't, oh my god, my sister gone, I can't do anything. The game's over, and you just lost. Just imagine playing Toga in Pools of Evo. And then th that 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 um, freaking just anger would be amplified by a hundred, and that would suck, you know. Well, I hope you liked this video, and I hope you subscribe. Thank you for watching my first ever uh, My Hero Talk, and I will see you later.